Good morning, everyone. My name is uh, Ken Shepro. I am the vice chairman of the Kane County Board. Uh, Madam Chair uh, is engaged in other official business this morning uh, and therefore uh, asked me to chair the meeting. And I therefore call this meeting of the Kane County Board Executive Committee to order. And uh, will the secretary please call the roll? Bates? Here. Berman? Berman here. Ford? Here. Fries? Here. Gums? Kenyon? Here. Caius? Caius present. Martin? Martin present. Molina? Molina present. Sanchez? Sanchez here. Strathman? Strathman here. Surges? Surges here. Tepe? Tepe here. Shepro? Shepro here. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Today is the 2nd of June and the time appointed for our uh, meeting of the executive committee. Um, uh, Mr. Kenyon, would you like to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Yes. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag. To the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That's so hard. We're going to have to work on our coordination. We're going to have to work on that a little bit. All right. So today, June 2nd, famous birthdays include... Former astronaut Pete Conrad, Martha Washington, and most important of all, my dear wife Maureen. Charlie uh, Watts from the Rolling Stones. Right. He's 80 yes. year old today. Yes, yes. and the Marquis de Sade. Uh, on this date in history, on June 2nd, 1865, the last Confederate army in the field surrendered at Galveston, Texas. Uh, mm -hmm ending the land portion of the Civil War. All right, um, uh, may I have a motion and a second to approve the minutes of the May 5th Executive Committee meeting? Berman move. Moved by Berman, second. Caius, second. Caius, second by Caius. Are there any additions, corrections, comments, or observations? Hearing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Bates? Yes. Berman? Berman, yes. Ford? Yes. Fries? Yes. Gums? Kenyon? Yes. Caius? Caius, yes. Martin? Martin, yes. Molina? <clears throat> Molina, yes. Sanchez? Sanchez, yes. Strathman? Strathman, yes. Surges? Surges, yes. Tepe? Tepe, yes. Shepro? Shepro, yes. Thank you. Motion carries. Uh, all right, this time of the meeting, uh, we are open for public comment, uh, subject to the rules and limitations in the governor's emergency uh, proclamation and the rules of this board. Are there any public comments from any person present uh, in the room? Those of you present in the room will have to tell me if there look like there are any, if not, uh, are there any comments that have been submitted in writing? Karen, have you received any written comments? No. All right. Uh, are there any comments from any person um, uh, online who wishes to be heard at this point? And if so, uh, you please indicate to, uh, <clears throat> How do we have them indicate that there are, there, there are no members of the public there online? No, uh, there are no members of the public online. Therefore, public comment is closed. Uh, next item are the monthly financials. Uh, Director Anzik, can you review the monthly report, please? Good morning. The budget versus actual report for the county board budgets are included in the packet. Um, it's a relatively simple report. I'd be happy to answer any questions if you have them. Otherwise, there are no updates since the finance report that was delivered last week to the finance committee. 
All right, any questions for Director Anzik? All right, if not, uh, uh, I would ask unanimous consent to place uh, the uh, April Executive Committee financial report on file. And without objection, it is so ordered. Uh, old business, is there any old business? Uh, new business, is there any new business? Mr. Martin. Uh, yes, we do have an item of new business. I think we all received, um, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, a proposed resolution uh, prepared by uh, Mr. Van Kirkhoff relative to our agreement to accept uh, a state grant to assist in funding our um, demolition of dangerous structures project. And I think we had a, we've had a good explanation of those at, at the uh, development committee level, uh, just in one broad statement, uh, we ceded that fund to, to deal with uh, difficult properties from the riverboat and it has been basically self-sustaining and we've received grants and now we're receiving another grant uh, which will further secure that we don't have to use taxpayer dollars, Kane County taxpayer dollars to, uh, to fund that program. So um, we can't vote on that today because it wasn't on the agenda, but I would ask the unanimous consent of this committee to uh, move this forward to the full board. We have a demand of the state, uh, I'll refer to it as an expectation that we pass a, a resolution accepting this uh, by June 9th. So it has to be on our, uh, on this next board uh, regular meeting. So uh, I, I, as I say, I would ask that we have unanimous consent from this committee to move forward the acceptance of the grant from the state of Illinois. Mr. Martin, having asked for unanimous consent to move this forward, uh, is there any objection? Hearing none, it is so ordered and will be forwarded to the county board uh, agenda. All right, thank you. Any other new business? <clears throat> Hearing none, uh, the next item is the preliminary county board agenda for June 8th, including the consent agenda. Uh, and at this time, I would uh, call upon uh, administration chairman Caius to uh, present uh, the uh, item under that committee. Mr. Caius. Thank you. Mr. Vice President, uh, okay. my name is Chris Caius. Um, this is a, a, a came from our administration committee. Mm -hmm. is a designation for space for Deborah L. Bree Memorial Garden at Kane County Child Advocacy Center. Do we have someone to speak on that? Good morning. Please, please identify yourself. And I will. I'm Kelly Orland. I'm an assistant state's attorney here in Kane County, um, and I can just briefly explain to you what it is that we're asking for. Um, we lost a member of our state's attorney family last August. Debrie was 45 and she succumbed to uh, colon cancer. Um, she was the director of our child advocacy center and she had dedicated her almost 20 year career of prosecuting to advocating on behalf of children. And one of the things that she had always wished for was that there would be some sort of a garden, outdoor garden uh, area to reflect at the Child Advocacy Center, kind of in contrast to what goes on inside the walls of the Child Advocacy Center Advocacy Center, and the topics that they deal with there. And it would be a place for visit, visitors to the Advocacy Center, whether it be children themselves or their family members to sit and reflect uh, and have a moment of peace. And so in her honor, we would like to now designate some area, uh, an area there uh, at the Child Advocacy Center where we can create a garden for her. Um, we have already received a bid for that as well as we have received all the donations. There's no um, <clears throat> financial impact at all to the county as it, re as it relates to that space. Um, and so we're just asking for the designation for that space at this time. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And I Thank don't- Thank you, Mr. Caius. This need moved? Uh, well, uh, first, uh, yeah, why don't you go ahead and move it? Okay, then I will move that, that we designate and the space for Deborah L. Bree Memorial Garden at Kane County Child Advocacy Center. Uh, is there a second? Second. second. By Mr. Seconded Kenyon. Seconded by Mr. Kenyon. Mr. Caius, um, this seems like the sort of um, resolution that uh, the full board, we would normally have the, uh, the explanation that uh, Ms. Orland just gave. Uh, would it be your intent perhaps then to have this on the 8th 
taken off consent for the purpose of th those comments. I think it's important that uh, you know, minute be spent uh, or more explaining uh, what the reason behind this uh, designation. I, I think it's absolutely yeah. worthy of that uh, for the discussion and enlightenment. All right, so. uh, at this point, I guess I would suggest we move it on and then uh, uh, Mr. Kayas uh, on uh, the 8th can then uh, remove it for the purpose of a uh, brief explanation. I'd be uh, happy to do that, I'd be honored. All right. Thank you. Uh, all right. Um, any other discussion? If not, will the <coughs> clerk please call the roll? Bates? Yes. Berman? Berman, yes. Ford? Yes. Fries? Yes. Kenyon? Yes. Caius? Caius, yes. Martin? Martin, yes. Molina? Molina, yes. Sanchez? Sanchez, yes. Strathman? Strathman, yes. Surges? Surges, yes. Tepe? Tepe, yes. Shepro? Pro yes, motion carries. All right, next item is county development. Mr. Martin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, further to the point made earlier on our moving forward, the acceptance of a grant, uh, we are uh, processing the application uh, to the court to begin demolition of a dangerous or unsafe building uh, located in Aurora Township. So I move that and request a second. Second Molina surges. seconds. Moved by Martin, seconded by Molina. Is there uh, any discussion? If not, uh, clerk, please call the roll. Bates. Bates, yes. Berman. Berman, yes. Ford. Yes. Fries. Yes. Kenyon. Yes. Caius. Caius, yes. Martin. Martin, yes. Molina. Molina, yes. Sanchez? Sanchez, yes. Strathman? Strathman, yes. Surges? Surges, yes. Tepe? Tepe, yes. Shepro? Shepro, yes. Motion carries. Uh, executive, um, item one and two are uh, similar. They are appointments of members to the Board of Review. Uh, obviously, uh, since the assessments are out, uh, it's important to have this at full strength. Uh, the uh, names are uh, in background are in your packet. Um, uh, I would move uh, that uh, one and two together uh, without objection uh, and ask for a second to approve. And Berman Berman. Second. Seconded by Berman. Uh, any other discussion? Otherwise, clerk, please call the roll. Bates. Bates, yes. Berman? Berman, yes. Ford? Yes. Fries? Yes. Kenyon? Yes. Caius? Caius, yes. Martin? Martin, yes. Molina? Molina, yes. Sanchez? Sanchez, yes. Strathman? Strathman, yes. Surges? Surges, yes. Tepe? Tepe, yes. Shepro? Shepro, yes. Motion carries. Uh, next item is authorizing agreements for Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act and Trade Adjustment Act programs for program year 2021. Mr. Uh, Chairman. There... Yes. Yeah, I, I can uh, take this item. It usually comes through our jobs committee. Can yes, you... please do. Okay. This is uh, just the uh, please, follow uh, up. Please for the record, state your name. Uh, okay, I'm Ryan. sorry. This is Ford. Thank this... you, please proceed. Thank you. Uh, this is through the uh, workforce development. This is just a follow up. Mm -hmm. Uh, last month we passed the first part of this. So this is just a follow up with our uh, housekeeping for workforce development. This is second half of the contract. All right, are there any, uh, uh, and uh, uh, would you like to move then item three? Yeah, I'm, I'll, I'd like to move this item. All right, moved by Ford, is there a second? Strathman seconds. Strathman seconds, any discussion? Uh, if not, clerk, please call the roll. Bates. Bates, yes. Berman. Berman, yes. Ford. Yes. Fries. Yes. Kenyon. Yes. Caius. Caius, yes. Martin. Martin, yes. Molina. Molina, yes. Sanchez. Sanchez, yes. Strathman. Strathman, yes. Surges. Surges, yes. Tepe. 
Deputy, yes. Shepro. Shepro, yes. Motion carries. Uh, Mr. Sergis, would you present uh, item four, please? Item four is appointing an interim executive director of human resource Manages management department. Uh, Jamie Labrillo will be asked to fill that role for us um, for a uh, three to four month term while we're letting some dust settle and evaluating the needs of the, uh, the department. So I, I, and motion, the, I motion, yes. Um, Mr. Sergis moves, is there a second? Martin seconds. Martin seconds, any discussion? Not clerk, please call the roll. Bates. Bates, aye. Berman. Berman, yes. Ford. Yes. Fries. Yes. Kenyon. Yes. Caius. Caius, yes. Martin. Martin, yes. Molina. Molina, yes. Sanchez. Sanchez, yes. Strathman. Yes. Surges. Surges, yes. Tepe. Tepe, yes. Shepro. Shepro, yes. Motion carries. Mr. Thank Chairman, you. if I may. Yes. I, if, if I could just point out, Jamie's in the room right now, and I just wanted to say that I know that there's a, a course of action and a series of events that we have to take at the board level, but that doesn't stop the workflow at the department level that goes on. And Jamie has stepped up with the assistance of, of Mr. Onzik in, in helping keeping the department running. And Jamie, just a, a hearty thank you for rolling up your sleeves and helping out while we're working through the process. I'm sure thank we you, all join in that sentiment. Thank you and thank you for being here today. All right, uh, next is uh, finance and budget, uh, Mr. Berman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We have uh, 12 items. Uh, I would like to take them all together. If there's one you'd like, to, one or more that you'd like to select out to discuss or do separately, please let me know. Mr. Martin? I just, <clears throat> I have a question. Uh, I'm supporting number two relative to the uh, money that we're using to fund the uh, town hall meetings. What, do, does anybody know what we have spent or are spending that money on just to, I don't think we- I thought we had approved $5,000. We approved five, but what, what are, we, are we paying for court reporters? Are we, what, I don't, I'm just, I didn't know what the money was for. I don't know that. I believe the resolution no. itemizes categories, including, I guess, additional contract personnel. But yeah, it does not say who or what they are or provide a, uh, a breakdown. Okay, I forgot the additional contract personnel part of it. So I'll yeah. let it rest. Any other comments, any? Then I move that uh, we approve items one through 12 on our consent agenda. Uh, is Mark. there a, uh, I'm gonna vote no on item two. Um, and uh, so if the uh, movement would accept that to approve items one and three through 12. Yes, make that and, motion. Uh, I'll ask for a second to, uh, for that. Board will second that. Board seconds, any other discussion or questions? If not, clerks, please call the roll. Bates? Aye. Berman? Berman, yes. Ford? Yes. Fries? Yes. Kenyon? Yes. Caius? Caius, yes. Martin? Martin, yes. Molina? Molina, yes. Sanchez? Sanchez, yes. Strathman? Strathman, yes. Surges? Surges, yes. Tepe? Tepe, yes. Shepro? Uh, Shepro, yes, motion carries. Uh, Mr. Berman, do you have a motion with respect to item two? We have a motion. You're making a motion or? No, I'm asking if you have right. then a, a further motion with respect to item two. I will make a motion to approve item two. All right, uh, is there a second? Tepe seconds. Tepe seconds, any other discussion? If not, clerk, please call the roll. Bates. Bates, yes. Berman? Berman, yes. Ford? Yes. Fries? Yes. Kenyon? No. Caius? Caius, yes. Martin? Martin, yes. Molina? Molina, yes. Sanchez? Sanchez, yes. Strathman? Strathman, yes. Surges? Surges, yes. Tepe? Tepe, yes. Shepro? Shepro, no. 
So this will be moved uh, forward uh, off consent. Is it, uh, Mr. Chairman? Yes. Is it possible to get a copy um, to read? I, I keep only hearing innuendos on what this is. And, and I'd love to hear more about what your objection is, but without having the documents. Right, uh, I, uh, Mr. Sergis, I, I agree with you. That's why I'm not really discussing it. Uh, I'm hopeful that we can obtain some additional uh, documentation about this uh, before the 8th. And in that case, perhaps it uh, you know, will go uh, without any further discussion. Let me let me restate my question. I'd yes. like documentation. Let, let me change it to a statement. I'd like documentation so I know what I'm voting on before this is called again. Uh, the chair agrees with you attached and the board agenda. It was attached to this. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why I'm not pulling stuff up. Yeah. Uh, well, the documentation, though, is simply saying, I think, what was recited when Mr. Martin asked his question, which is. Uh, Commissioner Sanchez just helped me out, and uh, I think I have what I need. Thank you. All right. Very good. All right. Anything further from finance, uh, Mr. Berman? No, that's the extent of it. Thank you very much. All right. Well, Mr. Sergis, you're warmed up and ready to go. Uh, Human Services is next. <laughs> My understanding, Jamie, if I can on this, have we been asked to table this? Yes, and I, I had a conversation with Madam Chair yesterday and uh, concurs in that. So, Mr. Sergis, is there a motion to table this? Uh, since there's no discussion tabled, during- Just go back to committee. Mr. Chairman, since there's no discussion during tabling, if I can just say that I yeah. believe the copy was emailed out and, mm -hmm. and the delay is that we asked each, um, a completed plan should be submitted to the Human Services Committee um, of the Kane County Board from each department. And I just don't believe we have all of those in. Am I correct on that? That was what I understood from talking with Madam Chair. And uh, uh, therefore- um, Let's let Jamie, was, Ken, if we can let Jamie just chime in sure, just for a minute. absolutely. I was just gonna agree with what he said. That's what Madam Chair had suggested um, that we get feedback from all the departments prior to putting this to the next step. And, and I realized the goal was to have this enacted today. Um, but if we don't have the plans in from everybody, I don't know how we do that. So if we can light a fire so that by next month this is going. Um, and, and Ken, I, I, are we asking them to return this to committee? Well, I, I, we I guess I to would. The next exactly. I would defer to you. I mean, we could either uh, postpone it to the uh, July executive committee meeting, or we could send it back to your committee. Obviously, if it went back to your committee, it could still be on the executive agenda for uh, July. Um, I guess my suggestion, and it's only a suggestion, would be that given the comments and uh, perhaps board members on the committee will have questions when the individual executive directors submit their comments, seems to me it would make more <laughs> sense to uh, send it back to the committee. Braz has a comment. Yes, Braz. Is Drew? I, Drew? I, I, yeah, Drew. I'm Drew Braz speaking. I'm just concerned. You know, we're talking about now we're talking about July to get this done. I mean, we were hoping to maybe reopen in May or June. And now because of uh, this technicality, we're going to talk about it for another month. I, I, well, I oppose I, tabling this. All right. Uh, Drew, if, Mr. Chairman, Sergis, if I can. Yes. Drew, I have no problem passing this subject to those coming in. I, I don't know why there would be a delay on this. Let's move this resolution forward. And then as those particular plans come in, from each department, they can be reviewed and instituted. I, I, I don't know why we would. Martin joins in that thought too. Just move it All forward. Right. My, I, my only question is, is that my understanding is without it based on comments from others that the different executive directors have different ideas about you know, what their department should do. Uh, why, why, why haven't we been talking about this for the last eight weeks? You're asking the wrong person there, Mr. Press. 
Mr. Chair. All right. I, all right. Well, there is um, uh, Mr. Martin. Mr. Chair, yes. can Martin make a comment? Yes. The the I, I'm going to guess that nobody's going to second guess what the department heads do when they submit the plans. So if we authorize moving ahead contingent upon a department filing a plan uh, before they reopen, then we're done. Are we not? Uh, would or seem does the committee so. intend to comment on the plans? And then I see the head shaking of the yeah. chairman of the committee. So why don't we just approve, why don't we consider approving it and just saying that the department's open at a point in time when their department head or, or uh, can uh, provide a, the, the plan that they're implementing that complies with the uh, necessary regulations. Uh, so I is that a, Mr. Sergis, is that a motion on your part? And um, let me, Mr. If, could, Martin? I, could I defer to Jamie for one more last comment? Certainly. I just, I just wanted to make one more comment that went into part of the decision to, to possibly table it. With all the recent changes in guidance regarding mask wearing um, that came from the CDC, OSHA and um, ADA, they have not caught up with their workplace guidance. And as we are seeking to make sure that we're compliant with the CDC and the OSHA workplace guidance, it would help to wait and it may take a week or two to get them to update that guidance following the new changes. And part of the reason to continue this would be to receive that guidance and make sure that our plan is um, supportive of the guidance they have. Question, Sergis? Yes, Mr. Sergis. If this was passed, Jamie, is there any reason why we couldn't continue to modify or, or go to the next iteration? If we continue to move this line, we could be doing this in November for crying out loud. You know, it is a bit of a moving target. So we did try to build a little flexibility into um, the reopening plan to allow for changes as guidance changes. Um, I just wanted to add that that was one of the thoughts behind waiting. Mr. I consider, and uh, you know what, just Mr. for the Sir, sake of expediency, you know, I motion to move this forward if there's a second. Second by Fraz. Second by Fraz. Uh, any discussion, I would just comment that um, all we're doing is forwarding it to the board agenda. And if there is some additional reason not to take action, uh, that could be done on the 8th. So is there any further discussion? Sanchez here. Yes, Jared. Uh, I'm almost tempted to suggest we amend it right now just to get ahead of the guidance that will come from OSHA and, and other institutions. But I think, you know, next week at county board, we can decide on that action then if, if necessary. That uh, might just solve I, think the problem that, there. I think that makes sense, but as many of you have commented, uh, <laughs> uh, we would like to see, I think that's an excellent idea and hopefully there could be a, an amendment circulated earlier than the, <clears throat> the, eighth, the day of the meeting. Mr. Chairman? Yes, Mr. Martin. I, I just, with all due respect to everybody in the room, I think we're spending a lot of time here counting angels on the head of a pen. That's um, my specialty. Uh, and and I didn't mean to use a legal term. What if 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 we if we if we simply move this forward and say that they have to comply with applicable regulations, then I think we've got the the ball covered and, and if more regulations come in, we'll comply with them. That's what we do. So if we just say applicable regulations, um, I, I think uh, we're gonna all go nuts if we try to wait for the federal and the state government to give us a final reading on what we need to do here. Is that a suggestion for a amendment to the motion? Well, if, if the amendment would be uh, to uh, that, that they will open and need to file a report that applies with then current, then current applicable federal and state regulations. That would be my proposed amendment. Jamie, did Mr. You get Sergis, all that you is that is that yeah, acceptable to you? That is acceptable to me. And to the seconder. Raz seconds. All right. Um, then uh, is there any further discussion? Question, please. Um, yes, so, Ms. Bates. Thank you. Um, so is this, did we decide to leave it up to the directors of each department, how they will do this? I think that's the 
How, what does this indicate? Each director will submit a plan back to Human Services. Okay, thank you. All right, any other further questions or comments? If not, the question is on the, uh, the motion as uh, agreed to be amended. If there's no further discussion, uh, clerk, please call the roll. Bates? Yes. Berman? Berman, yes. Ford? Yes. Fries? Yes. Kenyon? Yes. Caius? Caius, yes. Martin? Martin, yes. Molina? Molina, yes. Sanchez? Sanchez, yes. Strathman? Yes. Surges? Surges, yes. Tepe? Tepe, yes. Shepro? Shepro, yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, legislative. Uh, Michelle Gums, are you here? Michelle is not here this morning. And this is oh, Cheryl Strathman. Uh, Ms. Strathman, do you have um, an item to present then? Uh, just what is on the agenda where we are um, asking for modifications to Governor Pritzker's uh, bill on uh, consumer and climate first aid. We know that um, uh, Springfield was busy late into the wee hours and they are still working on a couple of items, but I have nothing else to present. So is, is this still a timely and relevant action or did they do something that uh, we would have to rethink what this the request is. Mr. Uh, Chairman? I, yes. Go ahead. Go ahead, Cheryl. No, go ahead, Mavis. Okay. Um, this, uh, the energy, the big energy bill uh, has not, did not reach the floor on uh, May 31st, but there may be a um, special session to take it back up. So this is still relevant. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? Uh, so is there, um, Ms. Strathman moves to approve. Is there a second? Bates, second. Bates, seconds. Any further discussion? If not, uh, Secretary, please call the roll. Bates? Yes. <clears throat> Berman? Berman, yes. Ford? Yes. Fries? Yes. Kenyon? Yes. Caius? Caius, yes. Martin? Martin, yes. Molina? Molina, yes. Sanchez? Yes. Strathman? Yes. Surges? Surges, yes. Tepe? <clears throat> Tepe, yes. Shepro? Shepro, yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Um, parenthetically, uh, as you know, there was a lot of legislative activity uh, on Sunday and Monday. Um, I believe a lot of people are still reading all the fine print, uh, but uh, uh, the bill that affects uh, our county redistricting is Senate Bill 825, which did pass both houses. Um, I think it's 156 pages. Uh, and if you know how to get to the Illinois General Assembly website, uh, you mm -hmm. can read it. Uh, I think from what I can tell, they are still working on synopses, but it appears to address uh, almost all of the concerns uh, that this board had expressed previously. Uh, all right, judicial public safety, uh, Ms. Molina. Good morning, everyone. Um, we have one resolution that I'd like to um, move back to committee. We've received some requests from uh, our Wayne uh, Township officials, and um, I believe uh, Mr. Shepard can discuss it more, but I'd really just like to make a motion now to move this back to committee um, for further committee work. Is there a second? Berman second. Berman seconds. Uh, I will just say that at the ju judicial public safety meeting, a number of questions were raised about you know, why and how and so forth. And I couldn't answer any of them because I didn't know anything about what the village was doing. I will just say that I've had some discussions with some members of the Wayne Village Board and uh, and among other things, it doesn't appear that the village board has taken action on this. And our normal procedure would be if the county is requested to enter into an agreement, uh, we would expect to have the approval of that agreement before us. Uh, and so our action is the last action. So I thank Chairman Molina for her motion. And if there is no other discussion, 
uh, I would ask the clerk to call the roll. The motion is to return to the Judicial Public Safety Committee. Bates? Yes. Berman? Berman, yes. Ford? Yes. Fries? Yes. Kenyon? Yes. Caius? Caius, yes. Martin? Martin, yes. Molina? Molina, yes. Sanchez? Sanchez, yes. Strathman? Yes. Surges? Surges, yes. Tepe? Tepe, yes. Shepro? Shepro, yes. And personally, I, I thank you for your uh, agreement to do so. Uh, all right. Um, transportation, Mr. Fraz. Yeah, Fraz speaking. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I have nine items. I'd like to move all nine. Uh, is there a second? I'm sorry, I didn't hear the second. Martin seconds. Martin seconds. Is there any objection to considering all nine items uh, as a single motion and second? Uh, hearing none. Uh, are there any questions or comments regarding any of the items? Again, hearing none, um, uh, clerk, please call the roll. Bates? Bates, yes. Berman? Berman, yes. Ford? Yes. Fries? Yes. Kenyon? Yes. Caius? Caius, yes. Martin? Martin, yes. Molina? Molina, yes. Sanchez? Sanchez, yes. Strathman? Yes. Surges? Surges, yes. Tepe? Tepe, yes. Shepro? Shepro, yes. Motion carries. Anything <laughs> further, Mr. Fries? Nope, that's it. All right, thank you. Uh, Riverboat, uh, Mr. Caius. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, in this resolution, you have the items that were uh, nominated and selected uh, to uh, receive the uh, appropriations from the riverboat funds. Um, and so I move that uh, they are in the attached uh, uh, agenda item. Sanchez seconds. Uh, Sanchez motion seconds. by Mr. Caius, seconded by Mr. Sanchez. <clears throat> Is there any discussion? Uh, I would just like to comment, Mr. Chairman. Sure. This Caius continues uh, that it was uh, Naturally, we've had a uh, uh, less money to distribute from the gambling boat this year, so uh, it was a it was a uh, tough decision to uh, uh, divide the money up as equitably as possible. And I'd like to thank the committee who we did some once we got our our math together, <laughs> and I reviewed my math skills again. We were able to come to the uh, uh, conclusions and that we have in this. Uh, uh, this item, um, and uh, I'd like to thank the board uh, members, the committee chairman, uh, committee members, and also the staff who worked with us uh, very diligently. Uh, uh, Scott Berger and Chris Dahl, who helped us get through this. And I, so that's my comments. Thank you, Mr. Kias. I I had the uh, occasion to sit in on some, but not all of the meetings and I would uh, commend you, Mr. Chair and the committee members for a really very thorough uh, discussion of all items. And, and I believe that the uh, ultimate recommendation uh, was unanimous from the committee. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Yes. Yeah, so again, thank you for your work. Uh, is there uh, any further discussion? If not, clerk, please call the roll. Bates? Yes, and this was a good job. Thank you. Berman? Berman, yes. Ford? Yes. Fries? Yes. Kenyon? Yes. Caius? Caius, yes. Martin? Martin, yes. Molina? Molina, yes. Sanchez? Sanchez, yes. Strathman? Strathman, yes. Surges? Surges, yes. Tepe? Tepe, yes. Shepro? Shepro, yes. Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Caius. Um, I have not been informed of any need for a closed session. Is there any request for a clo closed session? I have Hearing a none. report. Yes, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any committee time. reports? <laughs> I want to remind you all, this is June and this dairy month. And I found a quote on my phone I like. 
At least once in your life, you'll need a doctor, a lawyer, a policeman, and a preacher. But three times a day, you'll need a farmer. <laughs> Thank you for that uh, report that from Question. the uh, Agriculture Committee. Um, Question, Mr. Chairman. Yes, Mr. Yes. yes. Uh, Mr. Kenyon, uh, what days do you have available for lunch? <laughs> <laughs> is that to uh, eat lunch or to Friday, deliver yeah. or to deliver lunch? Yeah. <laughs> All right, um, Mr. Kenyon, do you have a motion? I'll move. We adjourn and get on the trail. <laughs> All right. Is there a second? Hey, a second. second. All right, uh, Karen, pick somebody who seconded. I can't hear if there's a well cacophony of seconds. Uh, all those in favor, say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion carries. Record Meeting is adjourned. Thank you all.